Oh, go is it YouTube is Minecraft to go here today I'll be teaching you how to make a Minecraft texture pack that will literally work on any version of Minecraft because it's pretty much the same thing uh, just uh, this maybe it more files but that doesn't uh, that doesn't really matter <clears throat> and I apologize beforehand if I sound a bit sick because I am sick and I haven't made a video in a while so I'm like you know what I put on my glasses I told myself to deal with it because I need to get a video out. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna search percent app data percent. All right, gonna click the roaming folder. Then we're going to click dot Minecraft. All right, this will probably look different for you, uh, but then we're just gonna click bin because none of that really matters. And we're gonna right click the Minecraft jar, click copy on your desktop or wherever you want to have the texture pack saved. We're gonna make it. Does this call it uh, texture pack? I guess that'll work. <clears throat> All right. Open that folder that you just made. You're gonna right click and click paste. And now you can actually close out of this bin folder. You you do not need it anymore. Now I'm gonna right click, open with WinRAR archiver or WinZip archiver or 7zip archiver. You just need an archiving program that is able to open up jar files. So if you don't have WinRAR, Google it. Uh, it's free, not, or 7-Zip's free too. I recommend getting 7-Zip. <clears throat> oh. All right, so the first thing we can do is select a.class, scroll all the way down, and make sure it is organized by type with the arrow pointing upwards like that. And then we're gonna shift click zz.class, click the delete button. Uh, hmm. All right, cool. And now we also can delete the font.txt. No, yes, yes, you can delete font.txt. All right, now we can delete all the unnecessary folders. So select meta inf lang uh, com pause code net. Uh, I think, yeah, these are all the things you can delete. So just delete those. And we should be left with achievement, armor, art, environment, font, GUI, item, misc, mob, terrain, and title. And how I selected my folders is if any of them have a .png file in here, that means you're going, you have to keep it. So, like if I open bg.png, you can see this is uh, some background for probably the achievement screen, yay. Or if I go, and if I open up terrain.png, this is where all my blocks are stored. So we can close out of this. <laughs> Right click the minecraft.jar, click extract here. Ugh. You can delete the minecraft.jar. <clears throat> Alright, now let's just go. <clears throat> wow, losing my voice. Alright, now let's just, we're just going to go and we're going to right click uh, terrain.png, open with a program that you would like to edit it with. I do not recommend paint, uh, but uh, you're, you can if you want. Um, Actually, no, you can't because I don't think Paint accepts transparency anymore. So just select a program that will allow transparency. I'll be using Photoshop. <laughs> so we're just going to let it open up here. Uh, and we should be able to edit it as it is. All right, cool. So a uh, bit laggy. All right, so if I, let's say I just want to edit the grass texture. The grass texture is actually this, the first block. Uh, why is it gray? You ask. It's, it's grade scaled, uh, so it can match. Um, it's it's grade scaled, so it can be changed uh, when you switch biomes, like the color color of the grass. But then you're also gonna ask, well, why isn't this right here? Uh, why isn't that? Uh, why isn't that? What do you call it? Why isn't this gray scaled? Well, it's because it has a separate gray scale texture right here. So this will be put onto that. And uh, and this will be make it so that it uh, this will make it so that uh, it only uh, I'm sorry I'm losing my train of thought I'm really sorry <clears throat> this makes it so that uh, it's put onto this and it's gonna make it as <clears throat> only one texture but it's gonna change the color of this if you keep it gray uh, but not change the color of this so yeah and you can also change this to um, a different color so it doesn't be gray scaled just make sure it's not gray so let's just make our own texture I guess or oops selecting. 
So you can just select it, delete it if you want, or you can just edit it how it is. Let's zoom in a bit. I uh, get the, this here, and let's see, I just want to select the color. Let's, I'm, not, I'm just feeling special today, so we're just going to make it yellow. <clears throat> Might as well just fill it with yellow. Cool beans, cool beans. Now we can paint it like a stupid color, like green. We can do like this. Uh huh. Got some transparency going here. I don't know why though. Uh, <clears throat> and we can go like this. Just over this one more time. And I'll just do one right here. And then we can do one right here. Yay. So, you know, I'm not really feeling too artistic today. So this is what our texture is going to look like. So we can save it. <clears throat> then you can close out of this. All right. Now that we have train.png edited, uh, we can <clears throat> put it into zip format so that it will uh, allow it to uh, actually be put into the Minecraft zip file without any... Uh, uh, so <clears throat> it allows it to actually be read by the zip file. So if you want to edit like the, if you want to edit the items, you can go to GUI, items.png, and do this. It's the same deal for all of this. <clears throat> now we can we have to select everything. Go to right click, add to archive, just call it whatever you want. Uh, dot zip. Make sure it's in a, a zip file, and also make sure you're not zipping the texture pack folder. You're zipping the, the actual contents of this. <clears throat> so now, if we go back to a percent app data, percent, click on roaming, go back to our Minecraft, and th this time we'll click the texture packs folders. Uh, I can just drag this in here along with my other texture packs. Uh, this will look different for you. Just, just drag it in there. Now you, you can actually close out of everything. If we open up Minecraft.exe, and log in here we should be able to select our texture packs so I can select the tutorial go to single player like this world I guess <clears throat> oh whoa look this is super ugly new no. as you can see we have a very ugly grass so yeah that's all you have to do for texturing and it's actually this one's also seamless even though it may not look like it, it is a seamless texture. Uh, except for these little rows. Just, that's okay. Woo, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, well, no, it isn't. I'm being sarcastic. Uh, thanks for watching, YouTube. Uh, if you have a question about this, uh, please uh, just feel free to comment about it. I'll try my best to answer it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. Good luck. Bye-bye.